Hey everybody, I'm Adam Andler and I am with the Sub-Zero Ice Fishing Team and today I want to show you exactly how to set up a tip-up. So now we're going to grab our tip-up. So I personally like to use a beaver dam tip-up. I think it is the best tip-up on the market. It's definitely the best quality. And I have this tip-up spooled with 30-pound beaver dam tip-up line. Then I have a bobber to mark my depth, a snap swivel, and about a foot steel leader attached to a number 6 Gamagatsu red treble hook. So now what we're going to do is undo the flag from the spool and drop the shaft down. And our first step is to find our depth. So we use a depth finder and we attach that to the hook. And what we're going to do is drop that down the hole. And just that weight is going to bring that hook all the way down to the bottom to let us know how deep this hole is. So then once it hits the bottom you reel in the slack and you pull out your hook. So right now this is about, well I'm six foot tall so this is about six feet deep here and I usually like to be about two feet off the bottom because northern and most fish feed looking up. So now what you're gonna do is slide your bobber to your desired depth. So I'm gonna run this up here to about two feet off the bottom. So there you have it. From the spool to the bobber is about two feet. And now I just reel that up to the bobber. And now we take our depth finder off and we're gonna put on our bait. So we are using big, large shiners today. As you can see, you want them to be very lively so they catch the northern or bass attention. And we just reach in here and grab one nice big lively one and what I like to do is just hook that minnow right by the back dorsal fin and now we're gonna send them down into the strike zone and the next step is to simply put the flag down and wait for a fish to come over and eat it. And they call it a tip up because once a fish comes and grabs that minnow, it'll turn the spool and the flag will go up. And that's when you know you got one. And the final step here is I like to mark my tip ups with a cone. Just a simple cone. Nice bright color so everyone sees it. The snowmobilers and four-wheelers will see it so they don't run it over. And then also another tip here is we have these hole covers. And what those do is you slide it underneath your tip-up and this styrofoam will insulate the hole so your hole does not freeze. Alright folks, so now we wait. Let's go get them. Thanks for watching.